the one thing that's not on your profile i eat a lot and don't okay. put on weight i low key love to sleep eat sleep and don't say pray yeah <laughs> <laughs> so here's the good news more women are breaking male domination in the sciences if you walk into any it park you'll just see like so many girls on paper everyone's a feminist today but are you really doing anything about it Hello and welcome to the India Fact Quiz 2020. So I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Before that, but let's have a round of quick introductions. Do you want to go first? Hello, my name is Yash Swini. I'm pursuing my first year masters from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. And the one thing that's not on your profile. I eat a lot and don't okay. put on weight. You eat a lot and don't put on weight. What about you? Uh, my name is Shashwat Raut. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying in the second year of my bachelor's from St. Xavier's. And uh, one thing not on my CV would be um, I low key love to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Eat sleep, yes. yes. And don't say pray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm Chiranjeev. I'm uh, currently pursuing television and film studies. And one thing that's not on my CV would be that I'm a, a part-time Amazon uh, like online e-commerce retail seller. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Hardik Doshi. I'm 22. I'm doing a dual degree engineering and MBA course at NMIMS. I'm in my final year. I also started a <coughs> company where we incubate artists, budding artists across India and we sell their work through an e-commerce app, the website that I built. Okay. So, today it's a quiz, right? So, uh, it's a quiz which I'm going to follow up with some questions because I'm going to test what you know and do not and there's no problem and and this is a conversation as well. So, here's the good news. More women are breaking male domination in the sciences okay but that's not the question the maximum number of women however work in i'm going to give you four categories you have to tell me which is the biggest category so the first is engineering and computer science the second is physical and allied sciences the third is biology and health and the fourth is chemistry and allied sciences i think it's biology and health biology and health okay and why do you say that Uh, the sex ratio that I have seen in biology classes after the eleventh, twelfth, and okay. the number of women that I've met who are aspiring doctors, biotech engineers, etc. Right. So, but and that that means that people you are seeing them in school or college, but yeah. they are also obviously going on to work yes. in the same proportion. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'd also go for the same option. That's biology and health. Uh, Uh, science uh, probably because uh, i have a personal uh, bias to it because my mother is a doctor uh -huh. and like all of her colleagues that i went most of them have been uh, women i think um, i would love to differ but i think i'm going to go with the same option <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even though i'm doing arts right now i did science till 12th and um, a lot of aspirants for neat the uh, medical exam in the country um, were a lot of um, girls so okay. yeah i think that would be the right option okay yeah i'm i'm pretty sure it's also the same option yeah. because I, in my opinion it's the one the medicine is the one field that basically escaped indian stigma and allowed women to you know but the mm. kid will mm. become a guy will become an engineer the woman mm. will become a doctor mm -hmm. the sad thought that exists but it's true mm. that there is a it's like massive difference in the sex ratio in classes even when you look at it from the 11 12th perspective hmm. the biology class is almost filled with women even when you look at courses like physiotherapy dentistry it's hmm. like there's an absurd yeah. male to female sex ratio right. with a larger number being so let me tell you the answer the answer is uh, uh, i mean all of you are right it's biology health and allied sciences is the number one the the second actually interestingly is engineering and computer science Uh, followed by chemistry and followed by physical and allied sciences. So the interesting thing is engineering and computer science. So how how do you uh, react to that? The fact that engineering and computer science is actually number two to your uh, what you've chosen. I wouldn't say I'm starkly surprised because uh, just because of the feminist wave that is um, upsurging around the entire world and like um, women wanting to do. um computers and science and being more enthusiastic about it or what you would you have um, done engineering or did you choose what you're doing yeah they wanted me to do medicine if i don't get then engineering okay. but <laughs> yeah. i was very firm about doing social sciences okay and no, i'm of... not yeah and i'm doing it so i'm not shocked though because the next best alternative apart from medicine for girls will be engineering and if you walk into any it park you'll just see like so many girls and right. even i think isro is the best success story for yeah. to yeah. justify this fact yeah so second question now this is uh, I don't know maybe a not so happy question so what do you think is the biggest reason women or girls discontinue studies okay so the first one is engagement in domestic activities the second is marriage the third is financial constraints and the fourth is inability to cope with academia or academics 
can i choose a option that is not on the yeah okay go ahead i would say it's caste patriarchy okay. that's the only reason that a lot of women who want to study who aspire to educate like drop out and it's also to do with access of resources okay so you are saying the experience caste patriarchy in the uh, in the academic institutions or don't in even family as well okay in a academic spaces as well as in and the family, family which prevents them from pursuing uh, yeah. uh, go ahead um i think it would be marriage that's my guess because um, uh, first i i do not have a sister or an elder sister or have not interacted with women uh, uh, women, <laughs> of, uh, women of women uh, of the age that they are just okay. probably going to get married okay i'd go for the first option mm -hmm. as for what i have experienced mm. uh, that is engagement in domestic, domestic activities because it's i have had friends who telling me that they've been uh, you know they've been told by their parents that you know after you finish your studies then mm. they can study right now so after you finish your studies you probably come back and do something in the city and help us out as well yeah. right okay so, go for so fitting into a role which is preordained in some ways yeah Correct. in my opinion it's a combination of the first three options but mm. if i had to choose one i'd say it's marriage mm. that's the biggest killer of women in education the answer is engagement in domestic activities so let me just get one word on this i'm not surprised okay um uh, yeah if you look at how the labor market child there's a lot of child labor and un, uh, unacknowledged yeah. work as well yeah it's actually so, contributing to gdp but not being measured not in gdp not being measured yeah. in gdp okay. great thank you very much all for being here and i wish you all the best uh, in your work and uh, hopefully you will do your uh, bit to improve gender balance in this country and make women uh, empowered and more powerful than they are today thank you very much for watching do remember to log on to indiafactquiz.com and participate in ifq 2020 the questions are interesting they will challenge your biases they will inform you and educate you also remember there are exciting prizes to be won